Hi everybody. We're at EBC Brakes in Los Angeles today, and I'm going to show you how easy it is to significantly improve the performance of your dirt bike by installing an EBC carbon fiber lined motocross and ATV ultimate clutch rebuild kit. Today we'll be upgrading a 2004 Honda CRF 250R. Now let's talk about things to do before you begin. First, Get the information you'll need to complete the work like torque values, type of oil, etc. Second, get all the necessary parts first like oil, o-rings, and gaskets. Third, determine the tools you'll need for the install and have them ready to go. I've already drained the transmission oil, now I'm going to put the drain plug back in and torque it to manufacturer's specifications. Start by thoroughly soaking all the new clutch plates and steel plates in the same oil you're going to use in the bike when you put it together. Make sure all the surfaces are well coated. On this bike you need to remove the rear brake pedal to gain access to all the fasteners. Next, remove the fasteners holding the clutch cover in place. Make sure you don't damage the O-ring. Now remove the fasteners holding the clutch springs and the pressure plate in place. Notice I'm using a cross pattern and backing them off a little at a time. Now remove the springs. And the pressure plate, making sure not to drop any of the internal parts, like the end of the clutch rod, or the thrust pair. Now you can remove the clutch plates and I recommend stacking them in the order that you remove them. At this point you'll want to inspect the inner hub and the clutch outer basket for where this basket looks pretty good, clutch inner hub looks pretty good, so we're going to go ahead and put the new clutch plates that we pre-soaked in starting with a friction plate and alternating between a friction plate and a steel plate until the stack is complete. Now install the pressure plate and the springs that come in the kit with the new clutch plates and the fasteners that retain them, torquing them to the manufacturer's recommended specifications. In this case, it's nine pounds. A quick tip, when you go to torque these, put the bike in gear. It'll make your life a lot easier, keep things from moving around, you get better torque that way. And again, going across pattern. After you torque the fasteners, this is a good time to take a look at the pressure plate, pull the clutch, make sure that it goes in and out freely and that everything feels fine. After applying a small amount of oil to the O-ring inside the cover and making sure the mating surfaces are clean, go ahead and install the cover. When you tighten the fasteners for the clutch cover, go around in a crisscross pattern, tightening them a little bit at a time until they're nice and snug. Again, these don't need to be too tight. As you can see, I've already installed the brake pedal. Put a little bit of grease on the shaft, not too much. Remember, it's a dirt bike. We don't want to attract too much dirt. And then put the oil in. Today we're using Silcoline Pro 4 SX. It's a 1040 high-performance, fully synthetic, ester-based oil with no friction mod. EBC makes a really nice clutch holding tool that comes in very handy if you have to replace the basket or the inner. I highly recommend this tool. It makes your life a lot easier. It's not that expensive. Get one if you're going to do it. It'll make your life so much easier. You'll be very happy you did. Well, that's all there is to it. It took probably about a half hour total, and we're done. Now let's go ride the bike, see what we got. Everybody have a good day.